All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of 816 Outdoors. I just finished up at the archery range, got my 40 pin dial. Didn't want to show you guys that because it's the same thing over and over again. But since I'm down here at Platte Falls, the Platte River is right here, and I think I'm going to go try to get a carp. There's a bunch of carp in there, and I'd love to go shoot one with my bow fishing rig. So it's going to be the first bow fishing video. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to film it because I don't have my chest mount yet or my head mount, but we'll see how it goes. All right, I made it down here to the water. There's a boat ramp right behind me, and since the river's down so far, I'll just be able to walk right along there and see if we can see anything. Um, it's not very clear, so that may make it a little difficult, but they're also usually not too deep. It may be too early for them, I'm not quite sure, but I'd love to get one. So I'm walking along here, and it starts to get pretty steep and muddy, and I don't know if I can go any further past this, and I'm not very far at all. So I might try to go the other direction. If that doesn't work, I have another spot where I can get down to the water. Two more spots actually, so we'll go try that. I'm not seeing any fish or really any signs of fish. Like I said, I think it might still be a little bit too early, but man, I'd love to get one. That'd be awesome. Okay, now look at this spot. I'm gonna go over to the next one, see if we can't see anything there. Guys, I'm out here bow fishing and I look down, there's this fish, but I don't know what kind it is. And I don't want to shoot it if it's a game fish, so I'm going to just let it go, but I just don't know what kind it is. There's something else that's big over here, but I don't think it's a carp, so I'm not going to shoot it. It looks like a flathead catfish, or a blue catfish. Alright guys, I just got my first fish bow fishing by myself. It is an Asian carp, I think. I called my cousin, and I think that's what she said it was, or silver carp, something like that. But definitely a carp, and I shot it legally, so that's good. Um... I'm going to have to get my chest mount going for you guys when that comes in so you can see me bow fish. I missed the first shot and then I saw him come back and I hit him the second time. There he is. I'm on the Platte River and I just walked along to the boat launch over there. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's over that way. And there's these rocks that are kind of, I don't know, they're all, it looks like a bunch of squares, but I think it's just from erosion. It's all natural. Kind of goes along here. And they like to hang out kind of in here, right on the edge of them. So when I look for it, you can't see right now because the water is moving so much, but they dirty up the water really bad. And then you can kind of see them swimming around. So when I see them swimming around, then I try to make it so that they're on their broadside and I shoot. Now the one that I shot, the first shot I missed high. I missed probably a foot high. I reeled it in, shot again, had a good clean head shot. This meat is not gonna go to waste. I've never cooked carp before but i'm gonna try i'm just gonna try to fillet it and then fry it probably so we'll see how that goes i don't know all right we're gonna fillet him right out here right by the car so there he is i'm just gonna do it right on this cooler gotta sharpen my knife real quick um this is definitely not my good knife my grandpa made me a really nice one but i don't want to bring it with me all the time because i don't want it to get broken now the best part about getting a headshot means i didn't lose any meat from that at all i hit him right in the gills um, kind of went down through the gills right to the other side and went all the way through so he is he was out and there was no meat lost this is not the sharpest knife in the world so it may be a little bit difficult to fillet him all right now that i have the fish filleted all cut apart i'm gonna go into town and get some ice because i didn't expect to get anything so i'm gonna get some ice and then put it on ice go home and cook it i smell like fish and it's disgusting but it's all right. All right, we've got some ice and water. I'm just gonna rinse it off and then fill the ice chest with ice and call it good. All right, we're in McDonald's because my mom doesn't want me cooking inside because she doesn't like smell of fish. So we're getting an electric skillet, which is something I needed anyways. I'm gonna go with this one. I like it a little bit better. Hopefully I picked up the right box. I think so. If not, that's just gonna stink. All right, I made it home. I'm in the garage because my mom's having class inside. I don't want to be too loud in there. So I have to assemble my electric skillet. So I'm going to assemble that real quick. We're going to take it outside and we're going to get cooking. All right, we're gonna do this in the garage rather than out on the deck because when I went out there to plug my electric skillet in, 
there wasn't a plug-in. So I came to the garage with an extension cord, which probably could just put an extension cord from inside to the deck, but it's all good. We're in the garage. I have to let the oil heat up. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing to cook these. Here we have the fish, it's just sitting. It's a little dirty, but it should be fine. So we have the fish, flour, oil, some hot. I'm gonna do a light coating of the flour. And then from there, this is a key ingredient. You stick all of that in here. So you have your fish that's lightly covered in flour. You put that in here, you get it all soaked in there because the first layer of flour kind of absorbs a lot of this and it makes it really, really good. And then from here, you have a big wet, soggy thing of fish. So you put this, the fish, after you put it in here, you put it back in here, do a really thick coating of flour. So then you end up with flour, hot sauce, back in the flour, and then in the frying pan. All right, so I cut them up into smaller pieces so it's easier to eat, and I think it'll cook a little bit better that way as well. All right, so we're gonna test to make sure that our oil is hot. We just take a little pinch of flour. I'm pretty sure it is because it's been going for a little bit. Yep, see it's sizzling and it's all good. So that means that we're good to start it. I'm not gonna put them all in there at once because I'm not fast enough to take them all off when they're done. So here we go. We got all of our little crispies there. This one down here is already almost done. Move this. Now I didn't probably have enough oil in them to cut oil in it to cover the whole thing, so I'm gonna have to flip it. It's carp and it's very bony. I could tell when I was trying to cut them into smaller pieces, it's gonna be bony. So makes me a little bit nervous. This one here's about done. Okay, I got the first batch done they look good i don't know how they taste but they look good okay i just took the last ones off i'm gonna let them cool down for a little bit while i clean up and we're gonna try to eat them all right here we go Let's see if they taste good ow or you got stabbed by a bone Lots of bones. Tastes good. It doesn't really taste like fish. It tastes like hot sauce. That's about it, actually. It just tastes like hot sauce. Now, that's going to be a big issue right there. That's, there's some beefy bones. Yeah, so that's not ideal, but it's okay. All right, so my sister is going to try it. She does not like fish, but she does like spicy stuff, so we'll she, see what she thinks. It's hardly even a taste. <laughs> good i got it that's good that like never happens she ate the whole thing <laughs> oh my goodness all right i'm gonna end this one right here i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night eating these carp best carp i've ever had only carp i've ever had but also the best thank you guys so much for watching another episode of 816 outdoors make sure to like comment and subscribe i'll catch you next time god bless